Hey, what's up? In this video, I'm gonna go over a few of my top picks for synchro-based decks for the upcoming festival. Before we get to the decks, let's briefly talk about the event in general. This will be the first of these extra deck-based events that has a proper ban list that completely takes all the floodgate cards out of the game. As a result, I do think we'll have a better time playing and actually run into Synchro or Xyz decks the overwhelming majority of the time. As we move over to the first deck list, make sure to like and subscribe if you can, and tell me in the comments which of these decks you'd like to see gameplay of during the festival. And feel free to point out if you think I didn't mention a specific deck you believe has potential. As a reminder, all of the deck lists will be available in the video description in written form. This first list is perhaps the most obvious choice, and potentially the best deck for the event. Sword Soul does lose a lot of its power and versatility without the Tenyi base, but it's still extremely consistent and has a ton of room for tech cards like hand traps, which could be crucial for an event where you'll almost exclusively be facing extra deck base strategies. A lot of what you'll see here is very standard. Without the Link monsters, we gain a lot of room in the extra deck. So I'm choosing to incorporate a small Baguska and Zeus package just in case. The level 4 water Tenyi helps boost our Wyrm count for consistency while also providing more ways to go into the Zeus line if needed. The other card that stands out here is probably the level 8 water Synchro that deals piercing damage. Again, since we have room to spare, I'm adding an out to Crooked Cook just in case. I have a feeling some people might try to cheese out wins with that, and having the out in the extra pretty much makes that a free victory. Let's switch to the next list. As the people who follow my channel likely know, Synchron is my favorite deck, so of course I'd make one for this festival. This deck did get significantly hit by the event ban list, losing Hyper Librarian and two copies of Junk Converter. But it should still be powerful enough to be a great choice, with some adaptations to your combo routes. Besides the lack of Librarian, the rest of the deck is pretty much the same standard Synchron build you'd use in Ranked. The Flamble Synchro guy is the out to Crooked Cook here, and you'll see him again in the rest of the decks for the same reason. Synchron is the deck with the least amount of room to spare in the extra. So if you want to, feel free to cut the Flamble guy for another option, like Dragster, Shinshin, Jet Warrior, and so on. Now, let's switch to another deck that's likely to see a lot of play in the event. Of all these, Virtual World is the deck I'm least familiar with. I don't even have it fully built, as you can see. So admittedly, this list might not be quite as refined as the others. In ranked play, Virtual World currently uses Beatrice to gain consistent access to the Adventurer engine and set up a Scythe lock in the opponent's turn. Here, we don't have Scythe, and the Adventurer engine is weaker with Gryphon Ban. Still, the token can still be used to make Baron, and then we set up Snow in the graveyard as an extra interruption on the opponent's turn. I'm also running the ultimate soaking package here, which a lot of the decks in ranked have dropped. Next up, another deck that I have covered often in the channel. This build for Resonators is very similar to the last ranked build I posted a month or so back. The primary difference here is Small World adding consistency. Although Token Collector can be useful against Sword Soul and Synchron, its main function here is acting as a bridge between a lot of different cards for Small World, broadening the range of what you can search for in any given hand. This deck has become fairly hard to run in ranked due to the massive presence of the Adventurer engine, which provides a searchable out to Supernova Dragon. In this festival though, you should run into that engine far less. Lastly, here's a Speedroid build. Again, fairly similar to one of the last builds I've posted for Ranked. But not having access to the Speedroid Link monster does hurt quite a bit. Kite Drake does make this deck naturally pretty good at going second, which sets it apart from many other Synchro decks. 
Before we wrap up, I'll give an honorable mention to Ad Emancipator. That's another deck I'm not too versed in, and I didn't want to add over 5 decks here. Even without Block Dragon, I do think it can be a solid contender. As I said at the start of the video, feel free to comment below if you think of a deck I didn't cover. I'll leave you with some ranked gameplay now. See you next time.